from the Heart Center on the campus of Holy Cross in West Massachusetts. Charter Communications and Charter TV3 proudly present live coverage of Atlantic Hockey. Tonight, it is Holy Cross and Robert Morris, game one of this three-game quarterfinal series. It's playoff hockey on Charter TV3. Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the rink. Kevin Shea alongside a former Holy Cross standout, Mike McGuire and Mike, we've talked about this all year long. This league is so even top to bottom. This is a great matchup. What's going to be the difference here tonight in game one? Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, this is uh, Robert Morris' team that finished in seventh place, but they're really not a seventh place team. You're talking about one of the most dangerous offensive teams in the league, possibly in the country, led by one of the most talented guys in the country, and Brady, Brady Ferguson. Uh, I think the good thing for Holy Cross is they're well rested. I mean, they earned a bye last week where Robert Morris had to play three games. So I think the key will be number one, staying out of the puck box and keeping Robert Morris off, off of the power play. And then uh, number two, getting a good start. So they, you know, they, they are, they do have a little bit of game run. So I think getting, having a good first period for Holy Cross will be key. All right, we'll see how it plays out. It's Holy Cross and Robert Morris, game one of the quarterfinal series, Atlantic Hockey Playoffs. We're back with the opening faceoff right after this. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the law offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Local news from Central Massachusetts for Central Massachusetts. A Webster man is arrested after police say he stole numerous manhole covers. At least eight cars caught fire tonight at a parking garage. If you hear the same noise in the future, the town says you should evacuate the area. Reporters in the field. And an in-depth local forecast. Worcester News tonight on Charter TV3. Hi, my name is Tiffany Holland. I'm Zach Lanning. I'm Megan McGeary. My name is Ed Ryan. And welcome to College of the Holy Cross. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a ton of questions. Like, can I play my violin and study to be a doctor? This is where I ask, how many ways can I surprise people? What does it mean to be on a team? Who am I and where am I headed? At the cross. The more I ask, the more I learn. Holy Cross. Ask more. All right, the National Anthem, great singing. One of the Holy Cross students singing the National Anthem tonight. And we are ready for Atlantic Hockey Playoffs. Second round action, quarterfinals, best two out of three series. The winner moves on to Rochester, New York in the final four, the Frozen Four, their version, the, the Frozen Four. And then that's your ticket to the big dance. These two teams played back in November in Pittsburgh, Robert Morris. Robert Morris won one and they tied one, but uh, I mean, that's that's so long ago. It's it's really you, you don't even care about that. And that's what uh, you know. We talked to, to David Berard, and that's what he said before. It's it's what happens now. Yeah, I agree. And, and, uh, and the way the league's set up, uh, you play some of the teams four times. They play a few, uh, just a couple of teams twice. This is one of the teams they've only played twice. It was so long ago. On the flip side, both teams have some seniority, uh, so they're no strangers to themselves. So. He, he, each one knows the other can bring, so uh, you know there's going to be no surprises. There. No, you're right, and that's the way the league is, and that's you saw Francis Mark, David Berard there in the middle, the head coach of Holy Cross, former standout player at Providence College, longtime coach with the Friars. They're looking to punch their ticket to the league semifinals, and then they'd love to get. Of course, into the NCAA tournament. The first round of the NCAA tournament, one of the regionals will be held here in Worcester at the DCU Center. 
Holy Cross wins the opening faceoff. They get it in deep behind the Robert Moore snap. And, you know, uh, we were talking, Mike, a long layup for Holy Cross. Two weeks since they've played. And here's a break for Robert Morris. And they score on the first shot of the game. Robert Morris striking first. Yeah, it's exactly, exactly the opposite of what you want if you're Holy Cross. I mean, we talked about, we talked to the coach about how important puck management is. This all started from turnover. And again, it just, I, um, you know, looks like he's sticking right yeah, through the pass did. of Barifato, but I mean, that's a pretty quality scoring opportunity. Had a, uh, a good shot, and that line, I mean, everyone talks about uh, this line here, centered by Ferguson, great player, but that sophomore line um, is pretty hot for Robert Marr. So tough start for Holy Cross. Matt Graham picking up his fifth goal of the season for the Colonials of Robert Morris. And this is the team, Robert Morris, so talented offensively. And you look at the, the numbers, these teams are even though in terms of goals a game, goals against Spencer Trapp. Fires on, deflected just wide. Skelly rips one through Trapp, big screen in front. Marat got a piece of it. Moore battling along the wall for it. He's got Lopez with him. Down low behind the defense, Ferguson. Saucers it over, and the Colonials clear out. Icing. It's a good bounce back shift for Holy Cross. The one player that uh, Coach Burr feels pivotal tonight for Holy Cross is uh, TJ Moore, um, who he's going to have matched up against this Ferguson line as much as possible, except for right now because they just iced it. They're tired, and Holy Cross is last change. They have fresh legs on the ice, but we'll see how they do. Holy Cross has been one of the better teams in the nation in faceoff percentage during the season. Johnny Coughlin fires in. Collision at the blue line, and Watt will retrieve it for Robert Morse. Deflected, nice and waved off. Battle for the puck, Coughlin. Turnover again. Here comes Robert Morris trying to sneak it short side. Parafalo hugging the post, makes the save. Dangerous rebound floating in front. Colonial cycle it down low. Laughing. Good job defensively for Holy Cross. Mike Laughing having a career year offensively, but Paul Barafalo talking about his defense and how much it improved from last year's sophomore season. Here comes Holy Cross on the break. Pooley will dump it in and they'll go for a change. What do you see in the opening minutes here? It's only been two minutes in. Yeah, I mean, you kind of expected a little, kind of sloppy from, from Holy Cross. I mean, the, uh, the thing you gotta be careful of with Robert Morris is they look to, they're very good at catalyzing and scoring opportunities and those scoring opportunities come from turnovers that they just immediately try and attack off of. Um, and you can see a little bit of rust on, on Holy Cross, not as, I mean, crisp as, as we've seen in, the, in, uh, in past games. One of the things they tried to do with the two weeks off is really compete in practice and get after it and get physical for that reason. Absolutely. You know, yeah. to try to feel like a game. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Outside the zone, here's a breakaway. In alone, Mulcahy is stoned. And the rebound. Cleared away. Here comes Robert Morris the other way. Brett Mulcahy on the breakaway tried to go upstairs, and that's the book on the way to beat Rot. He's so good in the lower half of the net. He's a big goaltender, too. Turnover now. Holy Cross able to break it out. Moore. Moore. Wow, good play. Moore streaking in. Wow. Oh, and he rings one that off the close. iron. They might take a look at that in between. Moore showing tremendous speed. Now he's got Danny Lopez with him. A dangerous goal scorer as well. Lopez wheels into the slot. Turnaround shot. Moore off the save. And he covers up. And Moore right on the doorstep along with Cronella. Looking for some loose change. This is a good shot. I thought it, it looked like it definitely caught the under part of the crossbar here, but just a good move and um, 
Ooh. Yeah, definitely caught the underside of the crossbar. <laughs> I was hoping it might have got the back crossbar, but he's, he is, uh, TJ Moore has come out looking really good tonight. The whole line, uh, both times, I mean, the key with Robert Morris is to make their defense play in the defensive end. They are going to take a look at this. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to come back as a no goal, but they're going to take a you know, look. But yeah, not to knock on the Robert Morris defenseman, but that is the, probably the, you know, they're known for their offense. Mm -hmm. So the more you can, you know, Coach Barr talks about preventing a track meet. The way to prevent a track meet is to make them play in their own end, as simple as that sounds. And the 2018 Division One Ice Hockey Championships brought to you by the, this Holy Cross game brought to you by the 2000 NCAA, 2018 NCAA Division One Men's, Men's Ice Hockey Championships at the DCU Center March 24th and 25th. The tickets are on sale now. You can go to NCAA.com slash Frozen4 or you can call the DCU Center box office to get those tickets March 24th. Regional games at the DCU Center, always a great take-in. No goal. And TJ Moore and, pa and Paul Barafato too, we were talking to David Berard about this. They are the two the two leaders that the team rallies around. Yeah. If they're going, the team is following them. And you mentioned Moore off to a good start. That's a good sign for Holy Cross. Yeah, I like the way, I mean, you, you, you shouldn't get walked like that as a defenseman in, in this, but... Um, I like the way TJ skating today. Moore battling. Holy Cross, one of the things they wanted was a good strong four check, as you mentioned it. Make Robert Morris a little uncomfortable. Lopez keeps it in the zone. Lopez, wheels, trap, turns and dumps it in. Here's Moore. Kind of handcuff Lopez a little bit. Trap goes back with it. D to D with Skelly. Holy Cross will get a change. Robert Morris able to get it in the zone. Quickly they get it back out. Laugh into Pooley. Pooley with speed. Pooley oh, fires. Wow. And the save by Marat. Right pad save. Coughlin keeps it in. Tried to go D to D with it. Picked off. Here comes Robert Morris back the other end. And that shot is deflected wide. Coughlin behind the net with Brophy. Pooley looking for Laffin. Laffin able to collect. Gains the zone. Logan Ferguson, the freshman out there for Holy Cross as well. Okay. In on the four check. With Colette and Farrell out there now. Meritor. The defenseman pinching in for Holy Cross and getting involved yeah. offensively shot in from the blue line grabbed by Marat and he hangs on and we will take a time out here from the Hart Center first period action quarterfinals of the Atlantic Hockey Playoffs it's one nothing Robert Morris I'm District Attorney Joe Worley and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated from local school students here is our message if you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade. Take a stand to lend a hand. Don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. Welcome back, everyone, to the Heart Center. Kevin Shea with Mike McGuire, former Holy Cross standout. And this is the second round of the Atlanta Hockey Playoffs. Best two out of three series, game one. Holy Cross trailing Robert Morris, one nothing. The Colonials scoring on their first shot of the game here in the first period. Paul Barafato in goal for Holy Cross, just named a first-team league all-star. He broke the school record for 
shutouts in a season and a career. Five shutouts this season for Barrafato, who's really played well. And the net comes off the moorings. Laffin was knocked into the net. It's interesting on Barrafato. I mean, he's had such an incredible season. Um, but he's pretty much played the most minutes of, <laughs> of anyone oh in the God. league by a mile. And I guess the, the downside to that is what I was thinking of right when you know, Robert Moore scores 25 seconds in. Even the best goalie in the world can have an off night. Right. The downside of him playing all those minutes is you don't have a, a guy behind him that. So I would think, you know, Berard's going to will, will ride him. And sometimes it's good to have that second goalie that has the ability to get hot too. Yeah, but, Paul Barrafato. He's been so consistent. His 101st consecutive start tonight. That's an incredible Ironman streak Crazy. for a goalie. 101 starts. Here's Pooley. Pooley oh. shot on. And a save by Marat. Tried to go short side with it. Pooley leads the team in goals amongst the league leaders with 18 goals. Some NHL scouts here tonight to look at Brady Ferguson, the talented player for Robert Morris. But you know, if they, you wonder if both teams know Coglin and Trap. Trap throws it on. We're out to save and hangs on. You wonder if both teams know because yeah. obviously, no matter who they're here to see, if you're you're playing, you're playing. You know, there's NHL scouts in the building. You're right. You're going to be amped. Absolutely. And you know, I'd say Coach Berard's strategy thus far. I mean, typically in the past, he's matched up T.J. Moore. He's tried to match them up against maybe the third or fourth line from the opposition because they have the ability to score. Tonight he has them playing Ferguson line because there's like TJ is so good at defense. And I, I think they've been playing great. I mean, ever since that goal, I think holy, holy, the rust seems to be out a little bit. Yeah, TJ Moore is the Patrice Bergeron, if you will, of this team. Just a great two-way player. Coglin getting into it a little bit. Little words here to the left of Paul Barrafato. Barrafato made the save and hung on. And you're looking at Will Brophy there, number eight. That's Johnny Coughlin's defensive partner. Coughlin seems to be into it every game. I, I like that about him. He's, I do too. He's got a he's, good uh, snarl to his yeah. game. Moore will take the draw for Holy Cross. He wins it. Skelly. Holy Cross trying to break it out of their own zone. Moore got a touch. Grinella in on the forecheck. Robert Morris able to clear it, though. Skelly retreats to his own blue line. Skelly rips it up to Grinella. Holy Cross winds it up. Here's Spencer Trapp. Trapp softly dumps it in, and Holy Cross will go for a change. Grinella goes for the big hit. Cronella gains possession back behind the net. Cronella wraparound oh. shot. And that one's knocked away. You're right about the Holy Cross though controlling play since literally yeah. since that first shot. I I feel like the like I guess the word puck management has been good though the, the past couple minutes here. Making crisp passes. This is a team that David Berard told us, too, that you can outplay substantially yep. and they can beat you. Laughing in front, the backhander wide, takes one up in the chops. There's Ferguson, the freshman. Ferguson on the wall, cycles it back down. Laughing battles for it along with Pooley. Laughing pins it up against the wall. Murator, Pooley. Loves it out of midair. Holy Cross tips it up. Pooley's look good tonight. He's had three really good shifts. Holy Cross is a balanced scoring team. Pooley leads the team in scoring, but they've had good balance this season. Makes them so tough as a team. That one's deflected up. Coglin, great defense. Yeah. To get Very the stick opposite. On the shot teams in that regard. I mean, Robert Morris, 40% of their offense comes from three guys. So this is uh, it's another one that's 
kind of indicative of Rob Morris. That's not a bad scoring opportunity if if, uh, if, if he gets that off a little bit quicker. Uh, Barafato's going to make a good save, but fortunately, Carlin got a stick on it. Ryan Farrell will take the draw for Holy Cross. 6'3", senior from Haberton, Pennsylvania. Puck battle, three Crusaders on the wall right now going for it. Okay, he couldn't get it out. Barafato the save, and he steers it to the side. Skelly goes back for Trout. Crusaders trying to break out. Mulcahy hits Cronella, or Farrell rather. Farrell down the left side, big body. Farrell takes a couple hits. Mulcahy trying to get it back to the blue line, does so. Skelly, blast, deflected up in the air. It's a great screen in front. Mack, great screen by these guys. Meritor the shot. And here comes Robert Morris the other way. Israel on the rush. Lost the handle. Mackey back checking, picks it up. Loria. Loria with speed. Fires across. Barafato the save. Rebound the save. Paul Barafato, two big saves right there, especially on the rebound. Back the other way comes Pooley. Gets behind the defense. Puts on the brakes. These battles along the boards, too, so critical in the outcome of the game. Yeah. Oh, got a penalty here. On Crusaders drawing the penalty, laughing. Meritor. Barrow. Charlie Barrow's out there now at the blue line with Meritor. Here's TJ Moore. Moore with a one-timer. Murat oh, the save. Here's Moore again. Going to the front of the net. Oh, oh Pooley. Pooley shot saved by Murat. He never saw it. He was sliding back across. I don't think he ever saw it. I'm curious why the if someone had possession there. Why they blew the whistle. They may have lost sight of the puck or thought that Robert Morris had it. In either case, we've got a timeout here at the rink. When we return, Holy Cross goes on the power play. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. It's a good job by Gerard to keep his feet moving. They call these, I mean, it's a very typical call. Anytime you're impeding progress with the, the slightest hold or hook, uh, they're going to call it, even though... These guys have let a little bit go tonight. Lopez picked it out of the air, blocked it in front. Holy Cross going on their first power play of the game. They trail it 1 0 here in the first period. The shot by Moore blocked it in front. Good hustle by the Crusaders trying to get the puck back, but Robert Morris able to break it out. Spencer Trapp, stand up defense, putting a body on body. Holy Cross will wind it up. Here's Trapp. Moore, Moore, gains his own, dumps it to the corner. Pooley goes for it. Pooley leads the team in power play goals. Second in the Atlantic Hockey in goal scoring overall with 18 goals this year. Yeah, I like the way he's playing tonight. Second power play unit out for Holy Cross. Coggin had it hop over the stick blade. You gotta Gerard, watch out for these guys. On the back check. Yeah. the penalty kill too. Ferguson is a guy who has a couple shorthanded goals. He's amongst the league leaders in that category. Brady Ferguson, number 12. He's the guy that the NHL scouts are here to see. 160 career points. 
phenomenal numbers. Yeah, that's amazing. Here's Gerard. Gerard carries below the goal line. Holy Cross works it around. And shot on. Cronella trying to get some wood on it. Ferguson battles for it. One timer by Coughlin deflected up and a save by Marat. Great bid for Holy Cross. Holy Cross is getting great screens and activity in front. Uh, Meritor had a hit off the heel of his stick. May have broke the blade. I think he broke it, yeah. Yep. Oh, but you're right, and that's the way, the way to try to beat Marat. He's such a good goaltender. Get traffic in front, get deflections, get rebounds. Make it uncomfortable for him. Colette saves it. Penalty is over. We're at even strength. Robert Morris killing off the first power play of the game. And the shot on by Peter Cronella, or make it Ryan Farrell. Marat made the save. That was a sneaky scoring opportunity. I, I like and them almost, throwing pucks at the net yeah. and getting guys in front. I mean, you're going you're gonna to see two different kinds of, yeah, there it is. I mean, only good things can happen when you put guys in front and get shots on net. You can see two different kinds of goals. Robert Morris, you're more likely to see a goal off of a rush, like an odd man rush or um, Holy Cross the way they're playing. I think you're going to see more rebounds and screens and hard work. The greasy goals, if you will. Gerard sends it into the zone. Here comes Robert Morris out. Murray Tor picks it off. Holy Cross able to clear it away. Best. Barrow. Gerard. Here's Gerard, the shot. Blocked. Meritor looked at it. Skelly. Skelly. Lost it. And this is where Robert Morris can be so dangerous on those turnovers as Brandon Watt went for it. Watt's got a strong line as well. Dorwitz and Loria. Loria, a transfer from UMass Lowell. There's Brady Ferguson in the top line out there with Timmy Mong and Alex Tonge. Tonge and Ferguson going, or Ferguson and Tonge going 1 2 in the league and scoring. Moore trying to step through Moore. Here comes Robert Morris, Cronella on the back check, breaks it up. Lopez gives it off for Moore, offsides. Cronella could not clear the zone in time. I think they missed an offsides just before that. The one thing that's weird about this, I mean, there is some contrast in the colors, but for some reason, I think, like I've seen a couple times, a couple players get confused on almost getting their heads, you know, <laughs> yeah, you're their, right. their, their clocks clean, but there is contrast, but I think that a couple, like uh, the tops of like the shoulders, I think there's been a little confusion in the Throwing them jersey off. colors, yeah. Off a little bit. Coglin, good physical play. Farrell finishes his check and rubs his player off the puck. Broken up. Holy Cross to team defense there. The forwards collapsing down to help out in front. Robert Morris, if you look yeah. at the scoring opportunities, and here's the first penalty of the game against Holy Cross. And we will see this Robert Morris power play coming up, and they are Dangerous. Couldn't see if if the Robert Morris player. So here it is. I don't know if he let himself get taken down like this or if Coughlin's that strong. But might have been a combination of both. But once the hand, I think Coughlin's yeah. left hand gets up high right there. Yeah. I do think that he let himself get taken down. A little I'm bit, sure. But, but also not a horrible call. No. In the 80s, that's not a penalty. Yeah. Exactly. In the yeah. 80s, you yeah. could water ski off someone's back, and that was fine. 5.24 to play, first period. 5.25 to play, first period. 1 0 Robert Morris. The shot on, deflected out of the zone. Good defense by Mulcahy. Kevin Shea alongside Mike McGuire. Thanks for tuning in tonight. This is game one of the best of three series between Holy Cross and Robert Morris, quarterfinals, Atlantic Hockey Playoffs. Robert Morris scored on the first shot of the game, just seconds into this game, to take a 1-0 lead. Since then, it has been all Holy Cross, 
in terms of scoring opportunities. But they have been held off the ball board. Another Robert Morris goalie Marat. Barafato to save. Rebound in the slot. That one may have rung the iron. Great bid. Barafato with a lot of traffic in front. Makes a save. It hangs on. He's got people in front of him, on top of him. He had Spencer Durowitz literally on his back. That's when Robert Morris is most dangerous, when there's chaos. When there's chaos in the, like right here, there's a lot, a lot of chaos, a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, people are, are open during those times. That's when you're most vulnerable is when there's a turnover, and there's, you know, a lot of stuff going on on the power play. Well, Cusick for Robert Morris had a great bid. He may have hit the iron. Here comes Mitch Collette. Collette, yeah. a poke check by Israel at the line, causing the offsides. That's three, that's three turnovers by Robert Morris right at the offensive blue line. One led to the, the breakaway by Mulcahy. Uh, that was another rush, and then uh, right before that, they almost, Holy Cross almost had another break. Brophy goes back, 58 seconds remaining on the power play for Robert Morris. 4.23 remaining in the period, one nothing. The Colonials of Robert Morris over the Crusaders of Holy Cross. Holy Cross coming in the three seed, Robert Morris the seventh seed. But as Mike and I talked at the outset of this broadcast, the seeds really don't make a difference. Yep. And all that tells you is who you're playing and where you're playing because this has been such an even parity is the word in the league. All these teams are so good. Absolutely. You saw some road teams win in the first round of the playoffs. I mean, this Robert Morris team, this isn't that much of a different team in the past few years. And no. They've been winning their own tournament every year, which is against powerhouse teams. Yes. And they were predicted to finish second in the league, the preseason poll. Yeah. They played Ohio State tough in a two-game series early this season. They played Penn State tough in an early season series. They beat Lake Superior State. Ferguson drives the net. Boy, is he quick on his skates. Ferguson. Very quick and deceivingly strong, I think, because you saw him there with yeah. the puck. You're not getting bumped off and not afraid to go to the net. Cronella kicked it more, goes for it with Watt. Watch blocked by Barrow. And a good penalty kill for the Holy Cross team. Barafato chips it over. Stolen. Robert Morris the shot. Barafato the save. Loose puck in front. Barafato covers up. Paul Barafato, five shutouts this season. That is a Holy Cross record. The first team all league goalie. Couple big saves there on the power play. 2.46 remaining in the first period. Robert Morris won. Holy Cross, nothing. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley. And I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. There's David Berard, the head coach of the Holy Cross Crusaders. Holy Cross earning the three seed in the league, and they had a great, great regular season, but they'd love to keep this going. They want to get to Rochester, New York, get to the final four for the league playoffs, the semifinals, and then it's two games. It's yeah. one game Anything Friday night, and the finals on Saturday night. It's two games to the NCAA. They're only four wins away right now, it's the stance. Robert Morris now. Possessing the puck a little bit. Driving the net. Parafato pad save. 
good thing for Holy Cross if they can manage to get these four wins. They're probably playing in Worcester. Here we yes, go, two on they one. would. Here comes Pooley. Gerard with him. Oh, oh, just couldn't connect. Laughing. Laughing circling the net. Throws it in front. Deflected up in the air. Robert Morse will clear, and here they come. Carafato the save. Steers it off to the right. Wow. Pooley with a huge hit, he's and he's going to get he called. Might call a major here. They're going to call it up top. A hit in the head. Sean Giles, he the might. defenseman who got buried. I mean, this is a, a, I think, good intentions, but he did get him a little bit high. Uh, not too high. I mean, he's I a big he's a guy. Yeah. Pooley's a tall guy, so um, and he had his hands down, but he might have got a shoulder. Anytime you're making contact with the head a little bit, they're going to call it. So be curious to see if they give him two or four or Hopefully not the game. Right. Well, they need Pooley. I don't in think there, it warranted a game. I don't think it warranted a game, but leading score for this Holy Cross team, Scott Pooley. He and Paul Barafato, semifinalists for the Walter Brown Award in there. Giles gets up. He's skating off under his own power. Garifato and Pooley, both semifinalists for the Walter Brown Award. It's given out annually to the best American-born player playing college hockey in New England. Refs are, I guess they can take a look at it. Uh, I didn't know you could take a look at penalties. I, I think it actually helps Pooley's argument I think so too. if they take a look at it because, as you said, you see that his it's shoulder, it's not his hands, his elbows do not come up. The stick doesn't come up. Yeah. He it's, had a lot of momentum, was but it wasn't taller. a charge. No. He, wasn't, he didn't have his feet moving. Um, he was just and, a, a and couple inches the, taller than Charles. I think a lot of it, the momentum of the check, his, his head hit the glass. Right. But um, I think it does. I think yeah. this does strengthen his argument because I think. I think so, too. You know, if you look at things in, in full speed and you just see a guy go and get his head hits the wall and then he goes down, it's yeah. easier to think, okay, that was intent. He just headhunted him. It I think when you see the replay, you say, okay, it's he's a taller player. His shoulder hit him up high, but he can't dip his shoulder lower. Right. The, 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 the elbow stayed low. The hand stayed in. The worst thing is if they do give him the game, there's a chance he gets his suspended for tomorrow night yeah you're right as well which would be and you lose your leading scorer tonight for the rest of the right. the game you and know he's two periods plus possibly been i think him and tj moore have been the best forwards there he is go. again he's not charging them i think he had i think i think it was more head contact with the glass yeah no i think you're right i think he, he makes contact with him in the chest area there two it two. looked like he just nice. said two minutes okay i think like that's the right call yep <laughs> Robert Morris isn't going to like it, but with the with the officials, see, they're saying right there, he hit him in the chest. Yeah. The officials saying he hit him in the chest. With them able to take a look at it uh, with the replay, I think it diffuses some of the argument. Robert Morris isn't going to be happy. They're going to, you know, they're going to want the game. They're going to want the four minutes. You're going to want as much as you can get out of it. But when a referee's able to to look at it, I think that's a good a good rule. To, I mean, I don't like replay in general. But um, in a playoff game, I didn't know no refs could take a look at a replay to get a penalty yeah. right, but I think they got it right. So, nevertheless, Holy Cross will be a man down for two minutes. It's the second power play of the game for Robert Morse. Here's Ferguson up top. They shovel it in front. Loose puck. Where is it? Wow. No one knows. Barafaro doesn't know. The players don't know. Huge scrum in front. This is where you want to protect your goalie. You don't want someone following on. Barifato, good battle in front. No one knew where that puck was. Yeah. That's wow. Good, good. Uh, in times like that, the more bodies yes. on the ground and in front. Muddy up the water <laughs> a little bit. That, yeah, look at, I mean, this is just chaos. I couldn't even see the puck. Oh, Barifato got a, got a leg out and then. Wow. And then everyone just. And then it's after it. the whistle, okay. right? Yeah. Then it becomes a pig pile, a neighborhood pig pile. The faceoff will come to the right of Paul Barafato with 144 remaining on the penalty, 133 remaining here in the period. 
they're looking at something. They're going to look at the, see if this is a goal. I don't know. I'm curious what. Uh, well, they need. We didn't see it. We, we had a good vantage point no. there, yeah. We can't see. You certainly can't see the puck at all, let alone see it cross the line. But then I, you'd I also, if they'd have to listen for when they blew the whistle. Yeah. The, the other thing they could be looking for is if a Holy Cross player dropped on the puck in the crease, which could result in a penalty shot. So if Coughlin, or not, was that Coughlin or, or if, if they cover the puck in the crease, which it's trap, if he's jumping on the puck in the crease, that, that could be a penalty shot. Uh -huh. So they could be looking at that, which it's the last thing they'd want. Um, I think they're more looking at a penalty shot versus a goal. And you don't see anything there that would warrant it. I don't think by so. That look. I mean, I it'd have to be purposeful, uh, right. and I don't. I didn't see any uh, purposeful blatant. stuff. It's one of those. Man, we've had a few reviews, and you know. we have. They're yeah. wearing out the video. Yeah, tonight. Let's keep an eye on them. I mean, the you don't see it often. The signal for penalty shot. If he puts two hands above his head which you don't see often. No. It's bad news for Holy Cross. <laughs> <laughs> and now would Robert Morris get to choose who they would want? Any of the five players on the ice. Yep. And so Brady Ferguson. Yeah, I was going to say Brady <laughs> Ferguson was on the ice. So. so. Oh, there. Yeah, that's the last time you see the puck, though. And then Paul Barafato puts his, his glove hand up. Yeah. You can't see. Can't see if that went in, yeah. I or mean, he's right on top of it. Right, the, to see if trap. The ref... It, I don't know, to see that he goes, to say that he went down on purpose on it, I don't know. Here we go. The officials are coming out. No goal. Okay, they were looking to see if okay. it was a goal. So a minute 33 remaining here in the first period. The power play will carry over to the second if Holy Cross can hold the fort here for the next 133. Bad thing about those reviews is you get to rest your guns. Yes. If you're Robert Morris. Right. There's Taunch. Taunch outstanding player for Robert Morris. Good play, Farrell. Here's Ferguson. Ferguson shot blocked by Mulcahy. Holy Cross does an exceptional job of blocking shots. Coglin, one of the best. And Verifato scoops it up. Coglin. Okay, he take it. He's an calling him. He's calling Israel here, which I think is the right call. He got a kind of after the whistle rough. Um, slash. slash, yeah. So that'll even things up that here for the huge. rest of the period. I mean, that is and really big. And then Holy Cross goes on a power play for 43 seconds. Yeah, the last thing you wanted is to go down two nothing than the right. score, because they were on the power play for the rest of the period. Um, yeah, that's a really bad penalty by, by Israel there. Spencer Trapp and Holy Cross will look to take advantage. Trapp, the junior from Saskatchewan, White City, Saskatchewan. Another clean faceoff win by TJ Moore. He's been winning them clean all night. Graham comes down, Holy Cross switching up. Trap chips it out. Skelly will go back for it. Lopez back to Skelly and Trap. They'll have to wind it up. 43 seconds remaining here in the first period. Moore sweeps in and collects. Moore tries here. to wind it up with speed. TJ Moore oh, had a great rush er earlier. Here's Moore again. Tried to split the defenseman. Got a piece of him. And knocked him off the puck. Good defense nice and a steal in front wow. and a backhander save. Danny Lopez with a great bid. And a good poke check to knock it away from Morator. Ferguson. Ferguson buried in. Barafato the save. He didn't know where that was. Hoglin had it behind the net. Three seconds remaining in the period. Collette takes an elbow up in the head. And Colette takes exception. He took an elbow from Giles. Giles trying to get something back. He elbowed him right in the head. That was plain as day. Elbowed him right in the head. And Giles was the one who got hit earlier. So he's trying to get a little retribution. 
All right, at the end of the first period, it's Robert Morris one, Holy Cross nothing. We'll send it back to the Worcester News tonight studios for a news update. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at some of the replays here the first period. It was Robert Morris scoring on the opening shift. It's just good. seconds into the game. Colonials taking that one nothing lead. I thought Holy Cross recovered well, though, in, the, in that game. And, uh, give, after giving up goals so early in the first period, you might think, okay, where are they going to go from here? I thought right. they rebounded well, and I thought they're – their best players were their best players. Pooley, Lopez, and TJ Moore, I, th I thought were really good. I thought yep. they all had really good first period, so. Yeah, the students are on, we should mention that too, the students are on spring break here at Holy Cross. So you have some students here in the crowd, some people from the Worcester area in the crowd, but not the atmosphere you would have would this be, you know, time when class was in session. You had all the kids up on campus tomorrow night. 7.05, same two teams play. That's game two, and then if necessary, game three on Sunday would be a 7.05 puck drop as well. But, I, we, you know, we've talked about it. This, is, this league is the, – the level of the league has come up so much over the last couple of years. And, you know, you look at the league this year and you look at all the teams and, and how even it is. It doesn't matter if you took the lowest seed, highest seed. It's literally a toss-up. It's crazy. I mean, I, I was joking, it's, you know, not that you're going to gamble on Atlantic, Atlantic hockey, but it would be the worst conference <laughs> in, the, in the NCAAs to gamble on because you really can never determine who's going to win. That every advantage that you can get is good, and Holy Cross earning that by, I'd say it's mostly good, right? I mean, Robert right. Morris had to travel through their own snowstorm, our snowstorm. That's so right. they, they actually changed their schedule. They flew in on Wednesday. So they've been here a while, but you know that that kind of messes with your uh, you know your typical agenda. You're right. And then your routine. Holy Cross having last change that's helpful when you're trying to match up against some really you know juggernaut type of offensive guys. Yeah. The only downside is um, you know like we saw <laughs> Robert Morris kind of capitalizing some sloppy play right away, possibly a little bit of game rust for Holy yep. Cross. Yeah, two weeks off. All right. Holy Cross Hockey brought to you by the 2018 NCAA Division I Men's Ice Hockey Championships. March 24th and 25th at the DCU Center. Tickets are on sale now. Go to the DCU Center box office or you can log on to NCAA.com slash Frozen4 to get your tickets. March 24th and 24th. 24th and 25th at the DCU Center. The regionals will be here if Holy Cross wins the league and gets that automatic bid. You and I were talking about it, Mike. They would, they would play Close. here in Worcester. Yeah, it would be great. Ten seconds, we skate four on four. And then Holy Cross goes on the man advantage for 44 seconds. That's a good face off. They can set up, wait for their, their guy to get out of the box and then go on the power play. And here they come. Pooley comes out of the box. Stretch pass for Laffin. Laffin to Moore. Moore rips one on. And the save by Marat. Francis Marat coming in with a 9.15 save percentage, 2.53 goals against average, and three shutouts on the year. I like that shot. I mean, it seemed like a easy save because it hit him in the, you know, right in the midsection. But Laffin could have gotten if he got a stick on that, that would have been a, a tougher save to get a deflection. Holy Cross able to set up. 28 seconds remaining on the Crusader power play. Lopez at the blue line, down low to Pooley. Pooley looking. Rims it around to Moore. Moore. 12 seconds on the power play. Moore holding. Trap. Moore. Fires yeah. on and scores! TJ Moore! Power play goal. 50 seconds into the first period. The Crusaders have tied it up. Moore, seventh of the year. This is exactly what we're talking about, bodies in front. I don't know if this hit a Holy Cross player, but it hit somebody. And I mean, we had a good vantage point of that shot. There was a really good screen, really good screen in front of the net. I don't know who got a piece of it. I think, I think it was a, was it Pooley? 
Oh, I think it might have been I Raffin or, or maybe it just went in off more, but I like that Moore's taking those shots you know, yep. with bodies in front. That was a huge goal. Big, you, you and I talked about this during the break, just with each other here about how big it would be for Holy Cross to score on the power play and just kind of reset. Okay, now we're tied, 1-1, one, one. reset. Let's go, let's see what happens from here on out. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, from a, a shots on goal perspective, T.J. Moore's already, I mean, got four or five pretty good shots. Saw Mitch Collette going off the ice. There's T.J. Moore taking the draw. You mentioned what a great job he has done on faceoffs so far this game. He's got Lopez and Cronella with him. Kept in, thrown on. Marat save, steers it to the side. Cronella on the forecheck. Brophy got a piece of it. And now Coughlin will retreat. Barofato has to play it. Coughlin blows a tire. Lost it to Ferguson. Here's a bid for Robert Morris. And it's slid across. No one home. Lopez picks it up. Conch. Sensational year. 41 points. Lopez has been great in the forecheck tonight. Lopez lost it in the skates, couldn't find it. Here comes Tonge. Good defense from Brophy. Stands him up, knocks him back. Barafato holds on to it. Face off will be in the Holy Cross zone. It's good sound fundamental defense good. though. Yeah, I mean that's the stuff they teach you. You know, uh, going up is don't look at the puck, especially with guys like Tonge. Uh, when you, know, you get caught looking at the puck, you know, next thing you know he's behind you. David Perard in his fifth season at the helm for the Holy Cross program. He's done a phenomenal job with this team. Here's Ferguson, the freshman, and he lost it. Pooley. Shoots it in deep. Cleared away there by Robert. Skating well, he's a big body, strong player. He has had a sensational season. He seems very Holy determined Cross. tonight. 18 goals. Shot on Barafato the save. Second best in the league in goal scoring. Oh, uh, he called that on uh, Skelly. Okay, a high stick maybe or... Um, Definitely caught him. Caught him up top. He's just trying to cover him in front. So here it is. Good look at it. Got him up a little high right there. Sold it a little bit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but, but, Lynch, I think, was biting his lip, too, trying to draw it, some blood. I think it was more incidental than it looked. Um, you know, wouldn't say, wouldn't say it's a bad call. He could get him get him up near the, the face area. Did he call a dive? He called a dive as well. He might have called an embellishment. Wow. What did he call it? I don't know what he called. I don't know. Well, he crossed on the power play. It could have been previous to that as well. Yep. Oh. Trap keeps it in. Trap. Lopez walks it down. Pooley. Pooley rips one upstairs. Where's the puck? Marat went behind him with the glove. Wow. wow, Pooley went upstairs with it. Marat went behind him with the glove. David Barard would like them to take a look at this one. He would like to see them take another look. I wonder if he got a little surprised by that, by him taking that shot right look there. Look at this. Uh, look at that. They just constantly have bodies in front of them. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right, this is going to give us a great look at it. Oh, look at that, it's man. on his back. Oh my, see, but if you see the gloves in the net. See, that's what David Barard's saying. The if the glove's is, yeah. in the net, you can't, you're not going to be able to tell. I, I'd have an argument here, too. Why are you looking at their goal and not, not, not right. my potential goal? But I also think TJ Moore is under the skin of Ferguson a little bit. He gave him a, Ferguson gave him a huge whack right after the last faceoff. There's Moore on the wing. Around to Lopez. 
Lopez with Pooley behind the net. Lopez. Pooley. Lopez. Pooley kicks it up to Moore. Moore. Moore uh, tries to shoot through Moore. Robert Morris, and he blocked the shot. Robert Morris has a few players very, very good at blocking shots. Amongst the league leaders, three in the top 12 with block shots. Hoglin and Laffer lead the Crusaders in that department. Lopez chipping it in for Pooley. Here goes Laffer. Traps calling for it. Lopez puts on the brakes. Pooley, or Lopez rather, and Pooley going back and forth. Trap. 45 seconds remaining on the power play. Moore shot on. Marat got a glove on it. Trap through traffic, and that one's saved by Marat as well. Moore pinching down. Robert Morris clears with 30 seconds remaining on the Holy Cross man advantage. It's a much different power play than we've seen them run in the past. I like the way they're moving the puck. Meritor drops it back. Here comes Cronella with speed. He's got Ferguson on the right. Holy Cross will have to reset with eight seconds. Coglin. Coglin on the wing. Fires block. Coglin ships it down below Gerrar behind the net. Gerrar. Teams at even strength now. Cycles it back. Ferguson going Ooh. across for Cronella. And Robert Morris defense getting a stick on it and deflects it wide. That was a good job by Lori to come back and help out. Meritor rides his man off the puck. Shot on, deflected, Barofato the save. Robert Morris killing off that penalty. Israel trying to wrap it around. Gerard with him. Oh, Gerard oh, takes a huge he's hit. A trip on Holy Cross. Gerard took an absolutely huge hit. Gonna get a penalty too. Double jeopardy. Yeah. Robert Morris holding on to possession of the puck. And Holy Cross can get it. The whistle will blow. Oh boy. Colonials with the extra attacker. Loria skating around the defense. Loria loses it momentarily. Behind the net. Farrell's gonna battle for it, and he gets it. 13.55 remaining here in the second period. A tripping call against the Crusaders. When we come back, Holy Cross will be a man down. We're tied up here at the Heart Center. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. Welcome back, everyone. It's Robert Morris going on a power play now. Deflected, and oh, that one may have struck the, the iron. Yeah. Robert Morris led 1-0. Holy Cross scored. On the power play, seconds into the second period here to tie it up at one. 13.35 to play here in the second frame. And it's the Colonials on the power play coming out of Pittsburgh. Lynch going cross ice. Beautiful shot Ferguson. by Ferguson. Ferguson, one-timer to the back of the net. And it's 2-1 Robert Morris. I mean, that was impressive. Impressive passing. Uh, tell these guys have played together for a while, but um, that's just really good power play. And the last guy you want with the puck on the mm -hmm. stick right there, Ferguson. Yeah, I think he, I mean, well, wow. just really crisp tic-tac-toe type of passing. And 
uh, you know, that penalty. Look at think back at that penalty. I'm still curious if Israel would have would have fallen on his own. There was right. a little contact, but I think he was going to fall no matter what. And that's the problem with the man advantage. You can't account for Brady Ferguson like you can when you're even strength. Yeah. Ferguson showing you just the tremendous hands. Yeah. He settles that puck and he waited too. You know, he was calm about it. Absolutely. Settled it, waited, and just snapped that wrist shot, top corner. Good point. Yeah. Didn't panic. Not a composure. Didn't try to, yeah. Shoot it right away. So it's 2-1, Robert Morris. Holy Cross will have to come from behind again. Lopez to Laffin. Laffin fires deflected. Murad got a piece of it, would have gone wide. Laffin tried to turn and cycle with the ref. Brophy off the glass and out. Cooley and Laffin on the forecheck. Here comes Cooley, short side. Cooley cross ice, Coglin rips it on, save Ferguson in front, and Marat holds on. That was a really nice look by Pooley, and good job by Coggin. You can hear him calling for it with a stick. Um, but, yeah, really nice look. And again, bodies in front. I mean, they keep doing that. They're going to, you know, some of these were going. He got a good look at that, though. Marat has played well tonight. Get some youngsters out there. Or Barrows out there on defense from Mary Thor. Pooley. Pooley comes out of the slot, rips it upstairs. Marat to save. Pooley tried to go short side up high. The Barrow on the blue line. Here's Pooley again, shovels the backhand on. That one's blocked. Laffin and Pooley battling forward for Holy Cross behind the net. Mary Thor, one of the alternate captains for Holy Cross. Laughing. Robert Morris coming out on the break. Two on one. Right, and a back. penalty coming on Holy Cross. Hooker a hold. Hook. Hook. Yeah. Barrel got caught a little bit, a little bit up, up ice. And I mean, T.J. Moore, per usual, was was kind of back to try and help out, but yeah, anytime you get the stick parallel these days, they're calling it. You, know, you can see you got it, got it. I mean, the slightest, the slightest things like that they're, they're calling these days. NCAA, NHL. Mm -hmm. You're right. Up and down the line. It's a big kill. Ferguson will take the draw for Robert Morris. He has the go-ahead goal for the Colonials. It came on the power play. Ferguson deflected. Okay, he able to chip it out. Robert Morris winds it up. It is Ferguson. Red line gains the offensive zone. Tonge, rather. Tonge, 96 career points coming into tonight. Ferguson, 160. Yeah. I mean, you look at the offense <laughs> on that first line. And Timmy yeah. Moore, the forgotten man with 73 career points. I mean, come on. That top line, as you mentioned, is the lion's share of their scoring. Two 40-point guys with Ferguson and Moore, or Tonge, rather, and Moore, 33 points. There's good, good NHL players that never had those at four years of college. Right. Robert Moore is trying to set up. Holy Cross trying to disrupt them. Okay, he chips it out. Now it's Moore. Moore. Beautiful save, Verifato. The right pad save. Laughing went high in the air for it. Robert Moore is holding back onto it, though, now. Ferguson to the corner. Short side blocked. Conj let it rip. Israel up top. 48 seconds remaining on the power play. Here's Ferguson. Ferguson will just sneak into that slot area and look out. Israel 
Up top for Ferguson. Ferguson straight ahead, shot blocked. Colette got it. Colette trying to clear it, can't get it out of the zone. Tonge drops it back for Ferguson. Ferguson pressured, here's Tonge behind the net. Israel blocked by Laffin. Coglin. This is a tired group of penalty Gotta killers survive. out there right now. Oh, beautiful one. save, Barafato. Wow. And it's going to clear the zone. Okay. But tired. not deep enough. Now Holy Cross does Good get play. one change. Here comes Meritor. He can just hold on to the puck for a little bit to let everyone change. Farrell with the poke check, where teams are at even strength. Great job by that penalty killing yeah. unit. They were out there a long time. Oh, there we go. Mulcahy trying to slide it home. Delivers a good poke afterwards. Here's Mulcahy. Farrell and Moore. Farrell puts on the brakes. Dumps it behind the net. Moore goes for it. Mulcahy trying to win that battle on the wall. Robert Morris has it, and they'll break out. Loria. Trap goes back forward for Holy Cross. Oh. Turnaround shot, Barifato, nice save. Loose puck in the slot. Shot deflected up into the netting. Mulcahy deflecting the shot, blocking the shot for Holy Cross. 8.20 to play in the second period. It is 2-1, Robert Morris. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. Welcome back, everyone. The faceoff will come to the left of Paul Barafato as we skate five on five. Eight twenty remaining in the second period. A goal apiece in this period. Holy Cross scored early, and Robert Moore scoring on the power play to take the lead back two to one. Touch the Robert Morris bench. That was a. I Consider getting on, out of that power play without giving up a goal and a win. Barefoto made a couple of big saves. Yeah. But getting back to five on five, down one goal. The way they, the way they started out, when we were just talking about the way they started playing this period five on five, they're looking, you know, looking good. If they can stay out of the box, they're, right. they'll be fine. Pooley's line out there now, Gerard, good hands. Knocking that one down out at midair. Here comes Cooley. Fires on. Marat to save, and that oh. one's deflected out into the crowd. Up around the netting. A souvenir for the young fans. Young fans got himself a puck. Curious Marat's right. been sharp, but you said, Mike, you know, he, he's been he's been a good, good look at all these shots here in this period. Yeah. Tip for the goal. Yeah. Tip for the goal, yeah. I like that strategy of just putting bodies in front, getting some shots on that. Throw it on. Here comes Mar Robert Morris on the attack. Barafato glove save, and he hangs on. That was some good speed by Dorowitz. I mean, we've seen, you hear so much about that first line. Their second line, that whole sophomore line, yeah. kind of. Um, kind of caught fire last weekend, helped them get to this weekend. Um, but this is their third line, and 
You know, they get the transfer from Lowell Loria, like Kidora, which just showed you some speed there. There, you know, forward is a strength, I would say. <laughs> you're, you're right about that. Good poise by Israel. Throws it in front. A lot of traffic there. Farrell able to clear it. I don't know how he saw through that screen, but he flashed his leg. Here's a break. It's Loria. Loria saucers in front. Wow. Beautiful save, Barafato. Oh, Paul Barafato. Highway no robbery. Stick. Someone's got to get him a stick here. Defenseman should. It's Brophy. Brophy. Oh, he's trying to give it to him. Israel. Robert Morris keeping possession. Paul Barafato, the goalie's without a stick. And now he's. He Johnny Coughlin's it. trying to give him one. He says, no, you, you keep it. Holy Cross, Mulcahy will go for it. The Crusaders need to get it out of the zone. See if Brophy can get it out. And he, he does. Chips it up yeah. to Colette. Barafato goes back, collects his stick. Here comes Moore. For Robert Morris, blew a tire. Lopez tried to jump on it. But Dan Tuss was right there. Changing on the fly, this rink is really hard. In your Holy Cross, you're changing pretty much offsides if you're forward. Oh, you're right. And at least Holy Cross, that's where that home ice comes in, comes in handy, having the home ice advantage. Absolutely. Lopez nice. into the zone, looked for Cronella. It was deflected back behind the net. Cronella picks it up, tried to throw it in front for Lopez, or make it more. Trap just got a piece of Tonge. He backhands that one across. Pooley battles for it. Powers. Puts on the brakes, dumps it in. Skelly goes for it. Five twenty remaining in the second period. Two one Robert Morris in front. That's all the way, that should be all the way down. What a save by Barafato. <laughs> that was unbelievable. That was, uh, there, I mean, this is going post to post like that isn't easy. Man, that's it's gonna be hard to top that for save of the game. Wow. That was, yeah. that was big. They're dangerous on the rush, these guys. Battle for the loose puck. Won by Robert Morris. Back behind the net. Someone lost the stick, Robert Morris. But a room service hop coming right back up to the forward. Laffin lost his stick. Lynch. Pooley picks it off. With speed. Pooley. Puts on the brakes, curls back, looking for help. Pooley still with the puck. Mulcahy's shot is blocked. Make it Ferguson. Ferguson hustling in on the four check. Here comes Robert Morris, Bonji. Brophy going for it. Robert Morris gets to it first. Back behind the net. Israel with a lot of traffic in front. Fakes the shot. Walks down low. Throws it in front. Loose puck. Still loose. Out to the blue line. Get toost the shot. Deflected. Oh, and wow. never went across the line. Barafato with a save and the rebound. And a goal, Robert Morris on the rebound. And they take a two goal lead. Just, I mean, Holy Cross was just scrambling on that one. You can't blame Barafato. Barafato made a nice save here. Really just got that one out. No one picked up um, 16 there for, for Robert Cusick. Morris. Yeah. But they were, I mean, up until this point, they were scrambling for a good 30 minutes. Yep. And. That's, I mean, 
scrambling against a team that capitalizes on turnovers is a recipe for disaster. Perkusik on the goal. Three to one lead for Robert Morris. Big advantage. Moore. Loria Lopez picks his pocket, oh, comes back the other it. way. Two on one, Lopez. Lopez rips it up, stop. Upstairs. Marcotte just got a piece of it. Turnaround shot by Lopez behind the net. Marat just got a little bit of that one. He had a little opening, just, just missed his spot. That would have been big. 2.45 to play in the second period. Robert Morris with a 3-1 lead. Kevin Shea alongside of Mike McGuire. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's Atlantic Hockey Playoffs quarterfinals. Best two out of three series. This is game one from the Hart Center. Game two is tomorrow night, and if necessary, game three Sunday night, right here at the Hart Center. All 7:05 starts. This was a, that's not an ideal play by Tommy Muratar there. I mean, that didn't need to be a nice. That that could have easily been a pass. I think the tough thing when you ice, whoever's on the ice needs to stay on the ice, and it gives. Robert Morris to mismatch with this line against whoever has to stay on the ice. Barrafato loves it. Barrow gets it out. Durar with speed. Kind of got tripped up by the official. Pokes it down low. Oh, a huge hit to the head behind the play. Pooley just took a wicked elbow to the head. The official saw it right away and called it. Yep, it is Giles again. Same, That's the same second combo. One. Pooley and Giles there. Well, this is where, if you're Holy Cross now, you have to make it hurt. Yeah. You drew the penalty. You got Giles there running around right now throwing elbows. He's headhunting and has done that since that was, he got hit. I mean, he did it at the end of the period. Well, look at this is Blake. Look yeah. where the elbow is. I mean, Pooley had the penalty against Giles. Right. Which, what, I mean, ended up being a, a minor penalty. I don't even know what they called there, but right. on the on the other one, but I mean, I think his emotions got the best of him there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pooley popped up. Huge... If Pooley had stayed down, I don't know. Maybe do they look at it longer? If Pooley good... had stayed down and say, okay, was there intent? You know, is this a, question, is yeah. this? The other thing know. too is the the I mean, the league will look at anything right. these days. So I mean, even if the league looked at that, that could be could be problematic for Giles, but. This is a huge power play. I mean, yep. I think the I mean the bad thing is you're down three one, but the the good thing is you could score goals on these guys. They got five against them in the game earlier this year. So going into right. the third down one, um, obviously a is different a lot feel. better than yeah. A whole different feel. Scott Pooley is father Paul Pooley, longtime coach at Providence, the associate head coach at Notre Dame, one of the top teams in the country. Holy Cross assistant coach, Brock Sheehan played for the Fighting Irish. You were talking about, he played in a national championship game. Yeah. Here's more. Pooley shot on. Pad save, Marat. Lost to BC. And then he played professionally in the AHL. Trap. Trap fires. Rebound and Marat covers up. I like that. That's a good, that's a good shot. People in front had a clear line, kind of, kind of to the net. I take those all day long. Yep. Kicking them both out, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if it's that or was something going on on the side there with laughing. They're both, both of their, their back in here. These. Maybe. Robert Morris clears Ferguson. Dangerous. He's got a couple Barrow shorthanded Fado's goals. Not good with the puck. It's not one of his strengths. Ferguson, number 12. So dangerous out there. Again, NHL scouts from Toronto and Las Vegas here to look at him tonight. 
Moore with a quick shot on upstairs on Marat. Marat to save. Hangs on. Moore's done that a few times tonight. You like that, yeah. that quick release, kind of he's surprising the goalie. He's got a deceiving, he's got a deceptive shot. Uh, you know, that's not, I mean, the thing you don't want is shots from far out that the goalie can see, but I thought he was close enough and he's got a good enough shot to take a chance there. Um, almost, almost wish that one was a little bit, a little bit lower. Uh, hopes for a rebound or a five hole goal. 103 to play in the period. 58 seconds remain on the power play for Holy Cross. Mulcahy gloves it at center ice. Holy Cross will clear the zone and regroup. Ferguson wraps it around in deep. Here's Gerard behind the net. Ferguson slot shot on. Marat to save. And Ferguson for. That's not a good shot. Robert Morse clears it. Still some time to set up here. Okay. No torque to get it deep. Wrapped around and out. Miscommunication of that, that breakout in the tour. I think everyone else was on a different page because he was kind of one on four there. On the Penalties up, we're even strength, final two seconds. Cornella chips it in, and that is the end of the second period of play after 40 minutes of hockey here in Worcester. Robert Morris, three, Holy Cross, one. We'll send it back to the Worcester News Tonight studios for a news update. Welcome back, everyone. Second period replays. T.J. Moore early on on the power play. He got Holy Cross on the board, made it a 2-1 game, but then Brady Ferguson showing you why all the NHL scouts are here to see him tonight. Just great hands yeah. to give Robert Morris the lead back at 2-1. And then late in the period, great save by Paul Barafato. Perkusic jumping on the rebound, and he sends it home, and it's a two-goal advantage for Robert Morris. And that's where we stand right now. Three, not, three to one, rather, Robert, Robert Morris. 20 minutes to play. Mike, uh, you've been in, in these situations. You've been in the locker room in these situations, down two going into the third period. What are the coaches saying? What are the players saying? Well, I think the coaches, I mean, probably looking back to, to history against these guys, they've, they've always been able to score on them. And I think if they just get back out, play the exact same way that they play at the beginning of the second period, but just keep it going for 20 minutes and stay out of the box, I, I think they'll be fine. And, um, you know, in terms of the players, I mean, they have a lot of seniors on this team, this Holy Cross team, and I, I, they don't want this to be their last weekend, so I'm sure that they're, they're kind of talking about leaving it all out out here tonight and trying to get up early on these guys. Uh, you know, 1-0 one, one would be great going into Saturday. Right. Right, it's a big advantage, certainly. Yeah. Well, Holy Cross hockey, Holy Cross playoff hockey on Charter TV 3, brought to you by the 2018 NCAA Division I Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional Championships, March 24th and 25th at the DCU Center. Tickets are on sale now. You can log on to ncaa.com slash frozen4, or you can call the DCU Center box office to get your tickets to the Northeast Regionals. March 24th and 25th at the DCU Center. Holy Cross would love to punch their ticket there by winning the Atlantic Hockey Championship. They've got to come back here in game one as they trail it by two goals entering the third period. Again, it's a best two out of three series. Tonight, tomorrow night, if necessary, game three would be Sunday night right here at the Hart Center. Getting one early would be great yep. if you're Holy Cross. If you could, if you could put one in the first couple of minutes and just be down a goal, maybe get them playing on their heels a little bit, playing a little bit tighter, would be great. Here we go, opening faceoff, third period. Kevin Shea, Mike McGuire, thanks for tuning in tonight for playoff hockey, Division I college playoff hockey, Atlantic hockey playoffs. Holy Cross and Robert Morris laughing. 
Chips it in deep. Durar will go heavy on the forecheck. And if you're Robert Morris, I'm sure, Mike, they just want to get it out of the zone. Yeah. Just get it out of the zone. Nothing fancy. And, and if a Holy Cross, I mean, everyone just stresses possession, possession, possession. And if you can, if you can enter the zone with possession of the puck, it's better than not. But I don't think dump and chase hockey is that bad because they've been able to create turnovers from the, these Robert Morris defensemen. Holy Cross going for a change. Robert Morris chips it up. Here's Ferguson. Ferguson stick handles through the defense. Short side. Ferguson with a bid. What a rush from Brady Ferguson. He went through three men. Kind of wet out there. A little slow. And TJ's flying. Moore, who has played phenomenal for Holy Cross tonight. And as you mentioned, he has been flying all over the ice. Playing against their top line. Playing really good defense. Wooden faceoffs. Is it touched? Nope. Icing. Yeah, between, I mean, I think more Lopez and Pooley. I mean, we saw that, I mean, just from the shots on net, Pooley's got eight shots on net. Yeah. That is, that's a lot of shots. <laughs> we saw Gantouche, number four, for Robert Morris kind of shaking that shoulder free. He went off the ice. He's still shaking the shoulder on the bench. I feel like if uh, these guys got to stay out. Again, I feel like if Holy Cross is going to come back, Pooley's going to factor into one of those yeah. goals. Without question. Eighteen thirty-eight to play in the game. Moore will take the draw for Holy Cross. T.J. Moore, the senior from Medina, Minnesota. Moore with 28 points this season for Holy Cross. 104 for his career. Member of that elite 100 point club. Pooley's just three points off. He's got 97 career points. Robert Morris with possession. Cantouche steps into it, blocked by Colette. Colette trying to break it out. Cogden chips it up now for Colette. Two on two. Colette slides it across. Chipped up and over the net. Beautiful bid that time. It was Farrell streaking down the slot. Ferrafato steers it to the corner. Wraparound attempt. And a save by Ferrafato. Another save, Perifato. And this one's penalty, chipped up maybe. and into the net. Oh, no. no they don't have that automatic. Perifato's been tested here. In the opening two and a half minutes of the third period, Paul Perifato's made some good saves. That was a really good play by Coglin to get that puck up to create the two-on-one. Really quick, he he knocked he had to catch it with his hand and he put it right down. Uh, by, the time, by the time he got it from his hand to the stick to up, it was impressive. Paul Barafato has been a rock for Holy Cross, making his 101st career start, consecutive career start. He is the Iron Man for goalies in the nation, let alone in Holy Cross history, league history. 101 straight starts. Goalies have to have a very short memory. Battle for the loose puck. Still back behind the Holy Cross goal line. That's where Robert Morris wants to keep it. Okay, he now enters the fray. Here comes Collette. He's got Farrell with him, and Barrow, he fires it in deep. Farrell on the forecheck. Yeah, two has been a workhorse for these guys. The big kid. You're right. Coglin chips it up. 
Brunella. Sixteen nineteen to play in the game. Three one. Robert Morris lead. I think they mixed it up a little bit. Put T.J. Moore's line out here with a non Brady Ferguson line. We haven't seen that. Yeah, you're right. Moore's line has played very well tonight. Shot on is blocked. Here comes Coglin leading the rush. Cornella couldn't grab control of it on his stick. Lopez wraps it in deep. Moore on the forecheck. Here comes Lopez for the puck. Lopez has it back to Moore. Moore puts on the brake, spins back behind the net. Cornella's in front. Moore, backhander in front. Cornella's jamming at it. And Marat had it between his pads. Now again, this is like, I mean, the Dump and chase isn't a bad idea. They can create turnovers with these guys. This is a, it's a move Peter Forsberg <laughs> made popular. Come out on your strong side and go to your, your backhand. Um, that was a good play, but I mean, they've been able to create turnovers and get the puck on, you know, dump ins. Pooley off the face off, but we get a whistle. They seem, they, they seem to be, you know, Getting a lot, a lot of shots right, right in the bread basket on, on Marat. We've hit him, kind of made it easy on him a couple times. He's been a, done a good job with rebound control too. And here comes Robert Morris Graham, who's got a goal tonight for the Colonials. Giles keeps it in. Players down to the ice. Meritorious battling. Here comes Holy Cross back the other way. Pooley. Pooley dumps it. Barrow. Barrow on the rush. The backhander. Marat. The glove save hangs on. You see the defenseman now entering yeah. the rush. Charlie Barrow is. I mean, we he saw, took that drop pass. We saw Barrow a lot last year. He's played power play, so he. I mean, he's got. He's got some offensive skills. That could be, I wouldn't be shocked to see him get some more minutes. You saw Coglin join the rush. Here we go. This nice play by, by Pooley and good recognition by Barrow and joining the rush. TJ Moore will take the draw for Holy Cross. He's been exceptional in the faceoff dot tonight for Holy Cross. Trap retreats for it. Skelly back for Trap. Ferguson on the four check. Ferguson continuing to harass Trap. Here comes Trap. Trap gains the zone. Trap on the rush. Wraps it around. Denied on the wraparound. Spencer Trap with a good end to end rush. Skelly blocked. Oh Here comes Moore. One on one with Skelly. It's a two on two. Moore knocks it out of the zone. Holy Cross will change. Taunch. Taunch takes a hit from Farrell, who bumps him off the puck. Now Taunch has it back. Taunch will go for a change. Robert Morris has had balanced scoring from their lines tonight. Yep. Coglin. Holy Cross has numbers. Yeah, Offsides. And we will take a timeout. From the Heart Center, it's one, Robert Morris. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. 
who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four. The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. Welcome back. Holy Cross staring at a two-goal deficit with 14-10 to play. This is game one of the quarterfinal matchup, playoff matchup. Best of three series. Game two tomorrow night right here at the Hart Center at 7 o'clock, and then game three, if necessary, at the Hart Center, 7.05 again on Sunday. I'm liking their, I'm liking their defenseman joining the rush. I mean, you, you saw Spencer Trapp fight through a forecheck and go coast to coast. Nice rush. I like the I like the idea of them trying to help out offensively. Coglin fires it on. Marat save hangs on. I think you'll see a lot of that for Marat. Yeah. I'm sure there's telling them don't give up rebounds. Just just hang on to it. Hang on yep. to it as much as you can. So interesting to see all the so many of these kids are playing that you know that uh, NAHL and Texas League, like that, like Barifato and Ferguson played played together there last year, and I guess the difference is with all these kids playing in this league down in Texas, Ferguson's actually from Texas. He's like the one guy that you know everyone else is from a hockey state, and then right. he's a pretty cool story about growing up actually in Texas. <laughs> you don't see that often. No, like Brian Leach was born in Texas, but he grew up in Connecticut. Right, um, but. It's good to see that hockey is right. Austin Matthews well. is uh, is an Arizona, Arizona. kid. Right. Yeah. But you're right. It's you look at how the game has grown. Yeah. I mean, Texas. You never thought of hockey. Texas hockey, born and bred. You know, Arizona, Virginia. You see so many players from now. Florida. Yeah. All yeah. these non-traditional hockey states. A lot of these kids played in that junior league in Texas. I mean. Barifato, Ferguson, Timmy Moore played with Barifato and Ferguson and Amarillo. Uh, it's interesting. Well, it's got to be wild, too. I mean, they're so, you know, rabid for their, their high school football down yeah, in Texas. Exactly. And then to, you know, just to, what is it like to, to play down there and to live down there? Big hit behind the net. He just crumpled him. That was a good non-call. I thought he's... Turned away so at the bad. last minute. Lopez. Holy Cross trailing by two goals. Here's Trapp trying to lead the rush up ice. Trapp spilled, gets back to his feet, gets it up. Israel. Stretches for Ferguson. Ferguson deflects it into the zone. Mulcahy sends it up and through. Wow, caught that ice and tight. That was Ooh. like a foot foot behind the, the red line. A lot of times you get away with that. Gantus is favoring that right shoulder. Is it, yeah. And this is where, you know, in a, in a two out of three series, you know, it's not a one game and then you got a week to relax. These two teams are going to be playing tomorrow night, so. We talked about Holy Cross being rested and physically rested. Gantus wrestles down Mulcahy to the ice. And they're just letting him yeah. play a little bit. <laughs> that was right in front of us. And you and I, we had the best view in the house. That was great tackle football, as <laughs> Coach Berard would say. I appreciate them just letting him, like, let the flow keep yeah. going here. Yeah, they're both at fault. Them both or why? No, you're both at fault. Let it go. But in a series, we were talking about being well rested in a two out of three series. Uh, you know, and, and this is where, especially if it goes three games and it goes, if it goes to Sunday. Look at these yeah. two guys. <laughs> he's been a. I mean, I like that. Okay, he's great. I mean, coach said he's really he's a great captain. Yeah. And uh, not afraid to to mix it up. But he's a big kid. Yeah, he certainly is. 6 1, 2 16. Robert Morris. Trying to 
Kill some time in the Holy Cross zone. Keep as much puck possession as they can. Keep it back behind that Holy Cross defense. Giles. Wrapped around. Brophy will go for it for Holy Cross. Brophy takes a big hit. Brophy trying to shake off the effects of that hit. Yeah, those ones hurt the most. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised there aren't more injuries yeah. with the way Shoulders. that you guys hit the, you know, if you hit the glass, there's give, but when you hit the boards, Pooley with a huge hit, dumps the player right into the Robert Morris bench, and Colette drives the net, and he's denied. Pooley's played a great game yeah. physically, too. I mean, he's had all the shots, but physically he's finished every one of his checks. Yeah. And, it, you know, we talked about this is a series. This isn't one done here. No matter what happens tonight, these two teams are playing tomorrow night. So you can wear a team down a little bit, too. This was the puck management that Coach Barr was talking about. That should have been broken out 20 seconds ago. <laughs> making that good decision, the key decision, that first pass. Moore going for it, battling. Moore pokes Graham. Graham lost it behind the net. Gerard softly up the half wall. Taken back by Robert Morris. Slid across the crease, no one home. Luke Lynch, another one of those. Big scorers, a 30-point guy. With a couple chances. Nine minutes to play. Here's a steal. Turnover. Shot on Barafato the save. Now that's a big one there. Tough. Two goals, you're still in it. Three is a very tough mountain to climb. Just under nine minutes remaining. Paul Barafato and Holy Cross looking for some offense. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. Welcome back. 8.58 to play. Three to one, Robert Morris in front. So Holy Cross needs to score and score quickly. Whistle coming right after the faceoff. I've seen a lot of those where they drop the puck and then blow the whistle, like right as the shot's going on. And then they don't kick either one of the centers out. <laughs> right. Which is strange. Here's Trap. Cronella drops it, Moore, shot blocked, held on to by Murat, some pushing and shoving. T.J. Moore and Powers battling to the left of Murat. Moore with 104 career points. He's been a phenomenal player yeah. throughout his career here. Big face-off. Going to try and win it straight back to Cronella for a quick shot. Think. Skelly goes to Trap. Trap keeps it in. Flips it up deep. Cronella knocked it across. Lopez got some wood on it. Blocked there. Skelly, D to D. Trap. 
It's picked off. Brady Ferguson and company will start up ice. Barifato holds on. Timmy Moore bearing in on him for Robert Morris. Those two guys play together. Right before college. Down in Amarillo. High school football, rodeos, <laughs> and junior <laughs> hockey. You know, what's, what is that scene like when you're a 17, 18 year old kid? That one off a of Robert Morris player, so the faceoff should be should be outside the zone. Eight fourteen to play in the game. Three one. Giles wraps it around the wall. Cooley drops for Laffin. Laffin, Gerard. Coglin joins the rush. Back the other way comes Robert Morris. Strap bangs it out of the zone. And that's where you're talking about more of a breakout pass looking in, in a situation like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess when your back's up against the wall, one thing that's good about playing, playing here is you got high glass and you can use it, but the, I mean, it's a possession, it's a possession game these days. So the, or you can make clean passes, enter the zone with possession of the puck. I mean, you remember the, the days of, you know, even in the 90s, you know, on the power play, it's Ray Bork gets across the red line, just wraps it around, yep. like fires it in. If you watch today, it's Brad Marchand entering the zone with the puck on his stick. Um, and when they do wrap it, it's a, set play pass to gain possession. And I guess one of the big differences today is the kids, I mean, guys are so much better at handling the puck on the boards. Uh, I mean, that was that was a problem. If you saw a puck wrap here, I mean, you're hoping you had five seconds to, <laughs> to corral the puck. Uh, but the, today they do it like it's nothing. I mean, they're just so much more skilled than um, these days that Easy. Deflected wide of the net. Short side, Barafato with a great save. Barafato has made some real big saves in this game for Holy Cross against a very talented offensive squad. Lopez. Cronella blocked. Moore behind the net. Cronella drives the net. Cronella oh. the backhand. Marat the save. Thought he might have drawn a penalty there. That was borderline trip. Robert Morris able to steamroll it out of the zone. Cornella deflects it in. Coglin. Cantus. Ferguson, I don't think, touched it. Nope. Icing. 5.58. Don't want to say they're running out of time, but. Oh, yeah, this is, a, I mean, uh, no, he fell on his own, but that was a good, that was a good chance. I thought he might have got tripped, but. Um, yeah, that was a, a good rush for Holy Cross, and they just need a little, they just need more time. They haven't had that much time kind of pressuring Robert Morris's period. Garofato whacks it out to Pooley. Coglin stretching for Pooley. One on one. Pooley the wrister. Wow. Marat got a piece of it. That was a laser. Laughing in front. Ferguson denied. And Garofato covers up. Smart play, Ed Lynch right there on the doorstep. Yeah, well, Pooley can shoot it. I mean, that was a, that was a laser. Wow. Five, 
I'd Morning. keep an eye out. I mean, if I was Dave Berard, I could make it a three minute mark if they don't score between now and then to potentially pull their foul. Five ten to play. Robert Morris to Brady Ferguson. Leading score in the league. Two years in a row. Five years in a row, Robert Morris has got to the league semifinals. Last year, they eliminated Holy Cross in this quarterfinal round. Cornell is shot. Marat gloves it, holds on. Mulcahy and Israel tangled up. Moore and Gantus having a discussion. And we've got a timeout here on the ice. We'll step aside and be back with more from the Heart Center right after this. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. These are the moments dreams are made of. Only the elite will prevail. Who will advance to St. Paul and the Frozen Four? The 2018 NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Northeast Regional, March 24th and 25th. Be there. Visit NCAA.com slash Frozen Four today. All right, welcome back. 4.50 to play. 3-1, Robert Morris in front of Holy Cross. Game one, best of three series. Kevin Shea with Mike McGuire. Trap, good defense. Loose puck and Barafato forced to cover it up. And the faceoff comes in the Holy Cross zone. Robert Morris will get a change, bringing on that fourth line. Perkusik, though, number 16, has the goal. Yeah. I, yeah, I would be, I'd be thinking about pulling him early. Farrell taking the draw for Holy Cross. Here's Trap. Here comes Collette. Collette throws it, looking for Mulcahy. He was written off the play. Mulcahy back for Collette. Collette. Poke checked away from him. There's that high glass you talked about. Great play by Trap. Trap. Oh, nice play. Trap. Save. Marat and the rebound cleared away. Oh, boy. Gantus with a big hit. Brophy the shot. The save by Marat. Under four minutes to play. Goes down the length of the ice. Brophy chases it icing. I thought Mulcahy and Gantus both got up high on that. Oh, they game. definitely <laughs> did. Yeah, good look at that. They absolutely did. They're arguing this icing call now. Which I think it was the right call. It was it was close, but Will Brophy, the Our, six uh, four Robert sophomore. Morris is, is tired. Yeah, this here's the hit. Both guys got kind of got their hands up. Oh. Too big. Yeah, Mulcahy got that stick really up high. It was a two handed cross check. Robert Morris needs a change. 335, Brophy wraps it in deep. This is, uh, I think he capitalized here. Tired. They can keep possession here, 324. Barafato still in the net. Rolly Cross. Oh, wow. Grinella, beautiful move. More the shot. Rebound. And wide. Kept in. Muratora, beautiful hands to keep that one in. 
And Robert Morris is exhausted. Play, they still Hodges. can't clear the, clear the zone, and now they do. Big hit. And the shot on. Tonge is a physical player. Yeah, Pooley, Pooley kind of got stuck in no man's land. He just got on the ice, and Tonge was skating a million miles an hour. Here's another steal. Shot on Barifato save, rebound. Right in front. Holy Cross now on their heels. Defensively trying to protect the fort. Trailing by two goals with 2.22 to play. They need to get it out of the zone. They have any thought of pulling Paul Barifato. Robert Morris, this is a good shift for the Colonials. Shot up into the screen. This might be a timeout for Holy Cross. Let's see, do you gamble with the faceoff coming in center ice? I think I might. I might call timeout, rest rest everybody, pull Barifato, or, yep. or keep it going. I, I'd still potentially pull him, and then just keep the play going, then call timeout. If you, if you. Moore will take the draw for Holy Cross. Barifato's in the cage. Robert Morris wins. They send it in deep behind the net. Here's Trapp. Trapp looking for Cronella. Gantus and company back there. Graham now, here's Lopez. Lopez. There he's Sends out. it in. Here goes Barafato to the bench. Empty net for Holy Cross. The extra, extra skater is on. Yeah, behind the net, Gantus. Tied up Cronella. Face off. I think coming. it was off our Robert Morris. Yep. I think we're looking at probably a timeout for Holy Cross here. Face off will come to the left of Marat. And indeed, Holy Cross will take the timeout. Talk things over. The goalie, Francis Marat, the sophomore, has played a real good game. He has played good. I, I think. T.J. Moore might want that. He had a he had a shot right on the doorstep. That I think he was looking to go top right corner and just kind of gave it to Murat a little bit there. Made it a little bit too easy on him. I'm sure he wants that one back. One thirty-three to play. Be interesting to see. I mean, T.J. Moore has been your best face-off guy, but this is. This is on his forehand. Um, I mean, they could, he could draw it back here. A lot of times you like to draw it to the middle. It'll be interested to see who takes the who takes the draw. They have a lot of different face-off plays. Moore's your best chance at, at a win. He'll be, yeah, he'll try and probably draw it back to Trap. Trap's had a great game. Yeah, and they're going to look to him. Let's see. Oh, big face-off awesome. win, though, for Robert Morris. Holy Cross keeps it in the zone. Now it's cleared out, banked off the wall. And icing. So the face-off will come back into the Robert Morris zone with 1.22 to play. Moore wins the faceoff for Holy Cross. Here's Trap. D to D to Coglin. Coglin throws it on. A lot of bodies in front. And let's see. Looked like it's stuck in his. Yeah, I think it was caught by Bonje, but I think it was. Yeah. I think he kind of smart play. That veteran just kind of oh, yeah. it's stuck here. I can't get it out. He had a good look at it. I mean, he would made a purposeful save there. Yeah. There was about six bodies in front of the net. Tough yeah. to get that one through. But that's that's the way it's going to oh. be from here on out. They won it. Yep. They just you kind of kind of got to push it here a little bit. Empty net close. again for Holy Cross. The extra attacker is on for the Crusaders. One minute left in the period. Three-one. Robert Morse. Game one. 
Best of three quarterfinal matchup between the Colonials and the Crusaders. Last year, Robert wow. Morris this beat Holy Cross in the quarters, ending their season. Pooley blocked. Moore. Back to the point. Coglin throws it on, deflected upstairs. Rebound! Uh. And Pooley's shot was blocked. 25 seconds to play. Coglin the blast, blocked. That one will sting. Good job by Moore for Robert Morris to block the shot. Pooley shot, blocked again. Trap, couldn't get it. Moore for Robert Morris. Softly sends it up ice. And this will be the icing on the cake. Tonj will take it in and score on the empty net. Alex Tonj with the empty netter with 4.2 seconds remaining. We'll put a capper on this one as Robert Morris goes up four to one. I mean, that was just, that was a lot of block shots yep. by Robert Morris. There was a lot of guys giving up their bodies. It's a tough, tough loss. I mean, they could still come back and win the series, but this one goes important. No, it's a big win, game one, as you said. It's it's still a best of three series, but Robert Morris takes the first one tonight. 4-1 your final over Holy Cross. Game two will be tomorrow night here at the Hart Center at 7 o'clock. For Mike McGuire, our producer director, Sean Grady, and our entire Charter TV3 crew, I'm Kevin Shea. Thanks for watching, everyone. So long from the Hart Center tonight. The Colonials of Robert Morris, victorious here in game one.